I know I shouldn't be parking here, but this is kind of an emergency and I really hope my bike doesn't get hit. Um, so sorry about the not so nice parking spot, Zeroki. I mean, Miss Zeroki. Hey, Angel, are you okay? Um, I, I need to talk to Dean, like, ASAP. Y yeah, uh, he's upstairs. Okay, cool. Um, thank you. Happy to help, sweetie. Okay, uh, let's see. Dean. Dean, we need to talk. Hey, what's up? And yeah. So you think he's like her? I'm not certain, but what if he is? So you want me to stay out of it? Please, for your own safety. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Dean, he makes you feel uncomfortable. He messes with you and makes you feel vulnerable. And? I want to cave his face in, but I won't because I know it would make you mad at me. But I promise I'll protect you from him, whether he ends up being just some flirty douche or a psychopath. I will protect you. Thank you. I'll keep my distance, as I hope you do as well. Of course. We'll just both try to stay away from him, but if he causes trouble, I'll try to get out of it and just speak my mind to him. But if he doesn't, it's nice to know someone is there to protect Cause as much as I'm strong, sure, I could probably, I could probably beat up someone. I don't want to have to ever because I wouldn't want to hurt anyone. But I could, if I had to, I could punch someone. He's bigger and stronger than me. And I'm scared to think of what he could do if someone wasn't there, just in case. I won't let anything bad happen. Thank you. Kamaji, I need your help. I have two dilemmas now. One dilemma being the whole Axel situation, which is way more than a dilemma and more of a serious concern I have. Why are you eating dirt? Stop doing that. It's not good for you. You have perfectly good food over here. Come get your food. Come eat food. Come eat actual food. No? Fine. <sighs> Anyways, I have two dilemmas right now. One being the whole actual situation. Not knowing how to handle it and trying to think of the best way to handle it without hurting anyone's feelings. Or jumping to conclusions, because I could just as easily be jumping to conclusions, and now you're hiding behind the pot. Okay, fun. <sighs> but, on the other hand, I have the assignment. <laughs> Feels so weird thinking of a grade over my own well-being, but this could be nothing, and why make a big deal out of something that could just be paranoia, you know? Exactly. Because, on the other hand of the whole um, assignment situation, I have an assignment that I have to write about my future career that I want in English class, and then in science, I have to write on the assignment how I think that will apply to my future career, if at all. And if it doesn't at all, then I just don't do that part of the assignment. It's basically extra credit, but I want to do the extra credit. And I'm really confused, though, because I've loved writing my entire life. I love storytelling. I love creating worlds. But I also love teaching. And I love helping others. But what if being a teacher isn't what I want to do? What if I want to be a writer like my mom is? I know you're sleepy, Kamaji. You can take a nap. I'll figure this out on my own, I guess.
Let's go up to the roof, get some fresh air. Maybe that'll help me decide. <sighs> Allergies. Anyways, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is figure out what I wanna do through the assignment. Kind of treat it less of an assignment on what I wanna do and take a slightly different spin on it. Hopefully that doesn't give me a bad grade, but genuinely might get me a better one. Take it as, rather than picking one, deciding between the two. Do I want to be an author? Or do I want to be a teacher? I don't know. I'll get it! Let's see, who's here? Uh, hello? Hello? Huh. A flower? And notebook? Darling, I think we've started off on the wrong foot. I mean no harm. I mean no one harm. I've been observing you. Not in a creepy way, but just in a I was in the neighborhood kind of way. And I've noticed a bit of panic. I don't want things to be weird. Come to the school alone tonight at midnight. We should talk this out. Axel. I don't know what to do. Okay, it's almost midnight. Kamaji. You're the only person that knows I'm going. So if I die, please tell my mom where I went. Actually, I think I have a way that he won't know. Okay, I'm gonna email, because, I mean, I don't email anyone. My email's completely inactive besides spam and school. I'm gonna email Dean in a very, like, undercover way, using code words, as well as call him a teacher. Um, I am here to inform you that I may be late for our study session tomorrow morning, going out late with A. So if you need me, I went to the school. Send. Okay. I don't know if he was just trying to up the creepy factor with the whole note, or if he's actually trying to work things out. I'm not going to bring my moped because I don't want to attract any unnecessary attention to myself. As well as, I don't want to get in trouble for being on campus that late. Okay. Let's go. It's cold out tonight. It's windy. At least it's clear out, though. Here we are. Emerald City. Come on. Emerald High. I don't know where he is, but he's somewhere. I doubt he'd be inside the school. I'm pretty sure the only people let in this later janitors. There he is. I remember the first time I saw you. I thought you were beautiful. I needed to know you. I needed you to be mine. Axel, why did you call me here? I wanted to clear up some things. I'm not a monster, or a stalker, or a <laughs> psychopath, as Dean put it. 
How did you... How did you hear our conversation? As I told you, I was in the neighborhood. I'm glad you listened to me and came alone. Shows you're an honest person. I... I wanted to let you know that I wasn't playing around. I didn't want anyone to change your mind. I didn't want to... I want to be with you, Angel. Why won't you be with me? I'm sorry. Did I scare you? That wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, you scared me. <laughs> I don't want you. He starts leaning in. Get off me! Fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Darling. <sighs> That's all he wanted to t tell me? And then he basically wanted, at least tried, to kiss me. And then he states that he's not trying to do anything. A psychopath. Okay, get back. I hope I didn't worry Dean too much with my email. I made it back home. I'm gonna make sure to lock the doors. Okay, it's locked. Oh god. I don't know what to make out of all this. I survived, Kamaji. Are you happy? Oh god. I don't know how to... How to... Think. If you just wanted to get to know me, there's way less creepy ways to accomplish that. At least when I pushed him away, he didn't try again. Oh God, if he would have tried again. Dean! Thank God you're okay. Uh, what are you talking about? What happened last night? Nothing happened last night. I'm fine. Don't worry. But, but, we probably should talk about the literature assignment we have together. In literature? Oh, yeah, totally. So we should probably talk about that in the gym. Okay, I'll meet you there. Follow me. at the school last night. He left me a letter telling me to come alone. So I emailed you that secret message to make sure that if anything happened, someone knew where I was. But it started off pretty okay. He was just telling me how he really likes me. And then it turned into him kind of forcing himself onto me. I'm gonna kill him. Don't, hey, wait. I don't want to do anything right now because I don't want anyone to get hurt. He listened when I said no, but the part that scared me most was he's been listening to us. Listening to us? Yeah. He heard our entire conversation talking about him. don't say a word. That's why I lied about where we were going. And when we leave, I want you to promise me you're not going to say anything to him. I promise me I want to tell someone that is an adult that can get him in serious trouble rather than just getting hurt. I promise. Thank you. 
You're the best. No, you. Anyways, let's go. Pretend like nothing happened. So, how's your mom's book coming along? It's going really well, actually. Um, she's having a little bit of trouble with the love story side of it, but, I mean, she really likes how it's coming along. Oh, how's your dad liking owning his own law firm now? He loves it, not having to answer to anyone else. He could be a cool lawyer. <laughs> That's awesome. So, how are you two doing? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You know what I mean. Are you guys, you know, we are figuring things out along the way. I see. <laughs> well, congratulations, you two. So, Cassidy, how'd the you-know-what go? Great. Also, guys, I wanted to tell you all something. Angel and Charlie are the only ones who know as of right now. What is it? I'm... bye. That's awesome. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really glad you were able to come out to everyone. First it was me, then your family, and now your friends. I'm really glad you feel safe enough to do that. <laughs> oh, anyways. Lovebirds over there. Uh, <laughs> free woman over here. <laughs> and the sweetest guy ever over here. What more could I want? <sighs> Is that Dean? <laughs> hey, what's up? Just thinking. Hey, you? You liked this song before, right? At... On the camping trip? Yeah, that song was really... It's really nice. Can I sing you another? Of course! Go ahead!
looking at you. I'm trying to get your attention. Can I come close? I don't know how to play this. You know, this could be like a fun. I am right here doing my best to make you feel like I do. And just for a second, you're looking at me, making me feel like maybe you want this too. Give me your attention. Angel, uh, I, I like. Uh, what the? Oh, sorry, I'll move my bike. I. Junior? Hey, Angel. I. Are, are you going to Emerald High now? Yeah, actually, I just enrolled. That's awesome. So I'm assuming one of your parents got a job here. Y yeah, my mom got a better position offer at West Emerald Hospital. That's awesome. I'm so proud of Aunt Jenny. She's doing so good in the medical career. I bet my mom is going to be so excited, and even my dad is going to be so excited to learn that Uncle Carter and Aunt Jenny are in town. I bet. They all three got together a lot when my dad and your mom graduated. My dad even lived with them for a while. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to say hi. Also, is your bike okay? Or did you choose to leave it in the middle of the street? I, uh, that was a choice. Um, I'll move it. <laughs> Sorry that it was in your way. But hey, we got to see each other. Well, I'm gonna get going home. See you around. See ya. Actually, I thought it was room. You can pull around, right? Because I don't really feel like starting up my bike just to turn it back off. Um, hey, Dean. Um, I, never mind. Um, I'll tell you another time. Are you sure you can tell me? I want to know what's on your mind. Uh, how about we, uh, you come over and we do homework together, okay? Sure. I'd love that. I might get donuts too. I'm not sure. I know I need to grab coffee first though. Um Axel, um Good afternoon. On a little coffee run? How did you Just a hunch. May I ask why you haven't asked Dean out yet? What are you talking about? Also, that's none of your business. Oh, but it is. I want you to be mine. So, I need to know why someone wouldn't ask out someone that they may like. I was hoping it's because you don't actually like him. Well, you're wrong, okay? And it's none of your business. Come on, please. Axel, Angel, get behind me. Oh, Prince Charming comes in to save the day. Walk away now. Oh, hush now. You really do have a short temper, don't you? Angel's well-being means everything. So back off. Fine, fine. But I'll warn you. She will be mine.
Okay, I need to head home. Are you gonna be okay? I don't want to be alone. I'm too nervous with everything going on. Please stay here. But your parents would kill me if they... They don't have to find out. I understand if you can't, though. I won't... I won't push it too much, but... I don't know. I guess I just thought that it might take away some of my anxiety over it. I'll leave, and then I want you to open the garage for me to come back. I'll sneak upstairs when your parents go to sleep, and I'll sleep on the floor. I mean, you don't have to sleep on the floor if you don't want to. You can just sleep in bed with me. I... I really? <clears throat> I mean, if that makes you feel safer, uh, then I'm willing to make that sacrifice. <clears throat> Sounds good. Thank you so much. This means a lot to me. I'm sorry if this causes any debacle with your parents. I'll get Charlie to cover for you and say you were spending the night at his house. Thank you. <laughs> Sweetheart, I never heard your alarm go off. You ready for school? Crap. Uh, hide. Where? Um, the, under the blankets. Got it. Hey, Mom. What's up? You seem frazzled. Frazzled? Why would I be frazzled? I just... I just... I just knew that um, I was running late for class, and so I kind of like sprung out of bed pretty quickly. I see. Well, hurry and get ready. Breakfast is downstairs. I'm heading out with Danielle. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you later. Bye, Mom. Love you. <sighs> so much for hiding. I'm assuming you tried, but blanket like, really won't hide anything regardless. Got it. We need to get you out of here. Um, we could probably sneak you at the back. Uh, follow me. Okay, thank you so much for spending the night, Dean. It means a lot that you would stay, even though you could have gotten in really big trouble. Thank you. No problem. I'll see you at school. Thanks. See ya. Joy! Hey! What are you doing here? How did you get in my house? The front door was unlocked. Was that Dean? Did you guys have- We didn't do anything! Why are you jumping to conclusions like that? Also, he stayed over for a completely different reason. 
What reason may that be? I... I don't know if you want to know. So you guys did do it. No, we, we didn't do anything, Joy. Shush. We fell asleep, hanging out. That's all that happened. Then why did he just sneak out? You know my dad would kill him if he found out that he spent the night here. Hmm. Okay, I guess I believe you. Thank you. Now, speaking of doing things... Have you and Charlie just been making out all day? What? No! Oh, really? I wouldn't be surprised if you guys have done it. What else have you done? We've held hands and kissed my cheek. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Shut up! Her face is like a tomato. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna get dressed and brush my hair and do a little bit of makeup and brush my teeth and get ready for the day in general and not look like a complete hobo. Uh, you can stay down here and if you want you can grab some breakfast. I'm pretty sure my mom made some before she left to hang out with your mom. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go get ready. I'll see you in a second. Um, or you can come upstairs with me and we can talk while I get ready. Either or. Either works with me. City? Your hair looks awesome! Thanks. I was debating between pink and blue, so I missed them and did purple. It looks really cool. Here, wait, let me see the back, let me see the back. Very nice! You actually did, you did a really good job. You got your, got your bangs really well, and then you got your ends really well, and fades really well. You, did you do an ombre? You did so well! I've been thinking about dying my hair too, but I've been a little too scared to, not gonna lie. I have pink dye conditioner. It'll tint your hair. You can have it if you want. R really? But <laughs> I don't know if it didn't even look good. Of course. I'll come over and help you after school if you're down. This sounds good. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll do a strand test and we'll figure it out if it, it'll look good. See ya. See ya. Hey there. Hey. So, Joy may or may not have come to my house when she saw you sneaking out the back. Uh, red as a tomato. Don't worry, she's not gonna say anything. Okay, good. So, can I stay again tonight? Shut up. <laughs> you know you would get in huge trouble if anyone found out. So don't push your luck, kiddo. I'm joking, don't worry. Sure you are. <laughs> it was nice being able to wake up and see your bed head, sparkly eyes still shining with morning sleepiness, face still puffy. Oh, shush! <laughs> it's cute. Anyways, I need to head to my art class. See ya. See ya. Uh, let's see. What's today again? It's uh, Thursday, so... Okay. I have creative writing and storytelling, so I need to go into the other building and get to that class. <sighs> my dad dropped me off today, so my bike is not there because I was really low on gas, and I would have run out if I would have tried to drive here. So my dad was just like, I'll drive you. I'll also pick you up some gas on my way home from work, so I'm just gonna walk home. Uh, let's see. She always assigns stuff and puts it in here. Here we go. What's the assignment for today? Assign, create a world. What kind of people live there? What technology, if any, do they have? 
What does it look like? Do, fan do fantasy or sci-fi style things happen in, in it? Once you've created this world, create a bar, tavern, restaurant, or cafe in it. Sounds easy enough. <sighs> Not everyone's here yet, but oh well. Uh, let's get started. I think I want to do a medieval style world, like fantasy. Um, and oh, and I can create like a bed and breakfast, maybe? And like heroes from faraway lands will like come and there's maybe a girl that works there and it's her dad's tavern or grandpa's tavern um, downstairs and then the inn's upstairs, so it's a bed and breakfast. I think that. And then she like sees all these heroes and she wants to like leave and be a hero. That sounds so cool. Okay, let's get to writing. Okay, the strand test ended up nice. I like it. I think I'm good with the color. You liked the strand test. Now, let's go all the way. All the way? All the way. Come on, you're gonna love it. Worst possibility, you stop using the conditioner and it fades out in a month. <sighs> okay, you're right. I can do this. I'm not gonna look though, you just do it and I'm not gonna look until it has been washed out, blow dried, and it's all finished. Start, I'm too scared to look. You done? Okay, I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna rinse out my hair, blow dry it, and I won't look the entire time. And then I will change so we can get the full reveal. Trying to avoid mirrors and not look over behind the sink. <sighs> Thank you so much for helping me with this, by the way. <sighs> I'm, I'm nervous. You look awesome. I trust your opinion, so you really think so? Yeah. Okay. What if, what if Dean doesn't like it? He likes you no matter your hair color, but I think he'll really like it too. Thank you, Cassidy. Okay, I'm gonna look. Three, two. <gasps> yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up. And he knows what gets me going. I love it. Thank you so much, Cassidy. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Before I leave, I'm just gonna grab a quick little piece of candy. Might as well, it's almost a Kamaji! Ugh, fine. I'll get you a treat after school, don't worry. But this is my candy. <laughs> uh, uh, ooh, it's cold outside. <sighs> Time to break out the fall clothes. I don't want to be freezing at school. <sighs> Much better. <sighs> I love fall. already starting to decorate for Halloween. I'm so excited. Spooktober is official. <sighs> I love fall and I love Halloween. <sighs> it's so nice. Anyways, let's get to my locker. Uh, hey, Dean. Hey, your hair. Oh, uh, I forgot. Um, 
if you don't like it, it's okay. It, it's temporary. I, I can stop whenever I want to. It's, whoa, slow down. It's really pretty. You're cute regardless, but I think the, po the, but I think the pink suits you. Really? Thanks. I like your outfit too. Oh, thank you. This is my fall attire. <laughs> Speaking of fall. My family has a vacation house in a small town nearby, and I wanted to invite a couple friends to go out there for Halloween. The town is obsessed with Halloween, and it's rumored to be haunted and full of witchcraft and voodoo. That sounds like a ton of fun. <laughs> Who all is coming? So far, you. I haven't asked anyone else yet. <laughs> Kenny would come too, because, well, she's my sister. I'd probably invite Joy, Cassidy, Charlie as well, and I think that's it. Well, that sounds good with me. I wonder who I'm gonna dress up as for Halloween. I mean, my go-to has always been like a witch or like a ghost or something like that, but I don't know. Uh, I'll probably go with like, I don't know, I've been really into like vampires recently. <laughs> I have no clue who I'll be. <gasps> We could have like couple costumes, not like couples, like dating couples, but like a couple as like a couple of friends costumes, you know? Anyways, I gotta get to class. We'll talk more about this later. Bye. <sighs> Ooh, sorry, I'm a little late. <sighs> Hello, darling. Hi, Axel. Feisty, again. I saw you all alone, and I wanted to make sure you were okay. You sue me. I'm fine. I... One of my classes, the teacher is sick, and she didn't give any notice, so we got the period off because they couldn't find a substitute. I see. Can I join you? Uh, who am I kidding? Why would I ask? <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I bet I could pick that better. Don't touch me! Never do that again. You okay? I saw you run in here. I'm fine. I just want not alone time, I guess. You don't have to say anything. Just know you're safe in here for as long as you need it. I locked the door, I have snacks, and I'm here to be someone to cry to or someone to sit with. Or if you want to be alone, you can have that instead. I just want to help. It's boy stuff. Is this because of my brother? I swear, I'll... No, it's, it's not. Don't worry. It's definitely not. Now that I think about it, I would really like someone to sit with. I don't want to feel alone right now. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> there we go. Um... I've been kind of just chilling on my computer all morning. I woke up really early for the weekend, but oh well. Um, I think I might run down to Mr. Roki's bookstore, to be completely honest. Part of me has been like really wanting to check out the books there and maybe pick up a couple. I don't know. Um, I don't know where mom is. Or, I know dad's at work. I think mom went to 
to a cafe to write. I think that's what happened. I should tell her about freaking Miss Zeroki's cafe. I feel like she'd really like to write there. Oh, it's such nice weather outside right now. Wait a second. <gasps> They're doing fall stuff now. They're doing the Halloween stuff now. Oh my god, I need to go check it out. Okay, I'll go to the bookstore. I'll check out some books. But after checking out the fall festival. It's like a weekend thing that we do. There's just a bunch of stands. This is the first day, so I doubt there'll be anything. Also, it's super early in the morning, so I doubt there'll be anyone out. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna pull up in the grass here. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for Halloween. <gasps> no one saw that. No one saw that. No one saw that. No one saw that. <laughs> no one saw that. No one saw that. You guys didn't see anything, okay? Oh, imagine freaking taking photo shoots in, in this fake graveyard. That'd be so cool. Oh my god. I need to come here at night with my friends. That would be so cool. I could dress up. Oh, the maze. I'm gonna get a little head start in the maze because I wanna be able to do it really well when I come here with the friendos. Uh, oh, that leads back to the front. Go over here. No. Okay. Dead end. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We'll go not that way. Um, we'll go this way and then this way. And then, no. Uh, <gasps> ooh, candy! Okay, grab a piece of that. Ooh, Kit Kat. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and now that I've explored the maze. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. And then down the street, there's gonna be a bunch of like attractions and I think they're making a haunted house. I don't know though. Um, and there's gonna be like stands to buy stuff. The pumpkin patch is set up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's such nice weather out. I swear, I feel like I get like so much more giddy and happy during the fall, and I don't know why. I just love fall so much. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Um, these people are dressed up as Slytherins. Very nice. We got, I'm assuming, a Grim Reaper. Um, I don't know from that show. I don't know from that show either. And then a little elf. That's so cute. And then a king and the pixie. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear for Halloween this year. That was what I'm gonna do. Oh wait, we're going on the trip. I forgot. That'll be so much fun. I'll be able to maybe even do some sort of kind of couples costume with Dean. Not like an actual couples costume with Dean, but like a friendship couples costume with Dean. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun going here with the, with the group of friends. So great. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, now I'm actually gonna go and check out the books from the bookstore. I wonder if Dean's awake yet. I'm gonna let him sleep in. I might walk downstairs and just see that I'm already at his house, uh, which is sad. Not a big deal at all. I feel like he doesn't really care. Sometimes I've fallen asleep at his house and then said I've been at Joy's, and a lot of times he's fallen asleep at my house. Mainly for other reasons, because I felt nervous about the whole Axel thing. <sighs> but, besides the point, we're just focusing on happy things right now. But sometimes he would, you know, let his parents think he was sleeping over at Charlie's. Him and Charlie have quote unquote gotten really close recently. In all actuality, they, they're kind of close. They're closer than they used to be, but they're not that close. There's already snow in the distance. It melts very quickly after the sun comes out, so it'll probably be gone by tonight. But there's already snow starting to come out every now and then in the high peaks. It's getting so nice outside. Okay, anyways, I should go in here now. Are they open? 
Oh, nice, they are. Hey. Good morning, Angel. I'm just gonna have to check out some books and maybe get one. Um, I might get a copy later, though. Oh, this place is so cool. Must be really, like, neat owning a bookshop. Let's look at some of the books. Um, Living Years, Moon Giant, um, Deep Dynamite, Shadow of Healing, Princess Minor, Deep Sky? Deep Sky sounds cool. Uh, let's see what's over here. Um, Butterfly Danger, Wizards, Wizard, Gate of Pickaxe, Dying Sword, Self Abyss. Um, I think I might take a look at Princess Dawn. Rooted into the desert lies a medium camp named Siam. Siam? 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 Oh well. Uh, it's known as the city into the horizon to those nearby. Siam has bountiful shops, a skilled carpenter, and a warm farmer's market. The friendly carpenter is always far away to help, is far away to help a good cause. Each hour carpenter Jonao? would climb to the front of the steeple and eat a potato. Sounds interesting. Um, <laughs> okay, um, oh, what I might do is, I might tell my mom that she should get her books in here. They've been doing okay and they've been getting a good amount of sales, but I think it'd be really cool if she did some sort of book signing in here. I feel like people would really like that. Siroki eventually. Um, I'm not gonna wake up Dean. I'm gonna let him sleep in. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here. I might order a coffee, actually. Okay. My costume is ready. My halo headband, white crop top, light skirt, and my cute little slip-on sneakers with some knee highs because I don't want to be too, too cold. Let's see, is there anything else I'm forgetting? I think that's it. Um, my makeup looks good. I did a basic makeup look, pretty glowy. Come on, G. Were you splashing in your water bowl again? Could've gotten something on my costume. Okay, I'm all ready. I really like how my costume turned out. And I'm really glad that Dean said he was okay with having the matching couples deal angel and devil costumes <laughs> okay i'm gonna head over to the festival it is about 10 and it's open till 2 a.m so we can just hang out relax and have fun um i'm just gonna walk there because i want to be able to walk back with dean to be completely honest <laughs> also it's not that far anyways um let's see so cool from down here. Sunset, well not sunset. The sun is like barely still up over there. Let's see. Oh, the weather's so nice. I'm a little chilly, but only slightly. I love the fall festival. It looks like some stuff's getting set up down there. Oh, I can totally win a prize over there. <laughs> Dean! Hey, your costume looks great! Love the little devil horns! <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow, you look great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for agreeing to do the couple's costumes thing. Even though, you know, we're friends, we're going as friends, but it is cool to have matching costumes all the same, though. Yeah, totally. So, what do you want to do first? Let's go win some prizes. <laughs> Meet you there. Come on. You did it! You got a bunny! 
good job. Huh? Why'd you give it to me? It's for you. Are you sure? Positive. Thank you. It's really sweet. Anyways, let's go get some more prizes. Thanks again for the bunny. <laughs> you really are cute. I hope you know I don't just say it to tease you. <laughs> God, I'm... <laughs> it's, just, it's a little chilly out here. <laughs> are you cold? A little bit. <laughs> Do you want to go back to my place for a bit to warm up? Sure. I I'd love that. Let's head over there. <gasps> Kenny! Hey, you two! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How's your night going? We dodged the question. Um, is going good? He won me a stuffed bunny. <laughs> Ooh, how romantic! <laughs> Kenny! <laughs> Anyways, this hottie asked me to go to a party down the block with a couple of his friends. I wanted a second opinion. Uh... Dude, don't go off with strangers. My friend Tamara would come too. I'm not that dumb. Fine, go have fun. Just be safe. Bring pepper spray. Have a nice day, students, and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <sighs> I'm so excited for the trip. I need to pack tonight. You still haven't packed? I'm almost completely packed, but I just have like last minute things I need to put together. I need to make sure I wanna bring some costume if I wanna get another one just in case. <sighs> I'm really excited to go there though. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. <sighs> Anyways, I'll see you later. See ya. I'm so excited for the trip. It's gonna be so much fun. I get to hang out with everyone, especially Bean. And it's gonna be tons of fun hanging out with everyone and doing spooky season stuff. Apparently the town is like super into Halloween. <laughs> Hello, darling. Did I say you could walk away? No, you didn't. But you can't tell me what to do. I know you speak out. I, it's one thing to tease me and pick on me. It's another to make such... Such remarks that no one should be making. remember. <laughs> Let's see. Let's start finishing up with one of these towels. Let's see. Okay, I have everything in there. I just... I know you don't want me to leave. I am fully aware you don't want me to leave. You don't have to stop me from packing to make that point. You hear me? And now you're sleepy. See? It's that easy for your moods to change. I'm sad, I'm gonna come back to a room filled with Halloween decorations and it's not even gonna be Halloween anymore. But I'm gonna have probably one of the best Halloweens since I became a teenager. Halloween's been kind of let down, yet happy. I can go to the fall festival and I can watch movies with friends sometimes, but like, it's always 
like little like bittersweet when Halloween comes around because I can't do as much as I used to anymore. But this year will be different and it'll be tons and tons of fun hanging out with everyone and being in a city that literally is known for being incredibly like haunted and like full of voodoo. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. I need to remember to tell my mom to water my plants and feed Kamaji and clean his litter box. I feel like I can clean his litter box just before I leave and he'll be fine. Um, but definitely food. I'm gonna make sure to cuddle with him. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you get tons of cuddles while I'm gone. Don't worry. Your grandma will watch after you and she will love you entirely. Grandpa still kind of resents you, but he loves you with all his heart all the same. I think I might play some Among Us with some people and then go ahead and pack everything in my um, little bag and in my backpack so that I have everything ready. I'm so excited. <laughs> morning out. This town is so adorable. I honestly would not be upset if we moved here. It's so pretty and fall themed. I mean, who would want more? Uh, that's a uh, lantern something. Where's the sign? Um, that's Lantern Lane. It's known for a lot of like parades and stuff. Here is Main Street. Uh, okay, time to look around. There's a cafe. Uh, looks like it just opened. It's pretty early in the morning, so I doubt we're going to see many people out right now. Um, here is the Main Street Market. Um, some books on Main Street. It's like a little bookstore. It's cute. And a touch of charm boutique. <laughs> I love how everything is like witch and ghosty themed. It's so cute. The Taylor Family Diner, very nice. 
that's very nice. Oh my god, <laughs> I can hear the meows from out here. Looks like a pet shop, okay. Um, shoe store, I'm assuming. Um, ooh, flower shop! Can we go inside? Looks like it's open. This is such a cute little flower shop. Looks like no one's in here. Maybe they're in the greenhouse area? Apparently not. It's such a cute little flower shop. Here, I'll close the door. Um, let's see. I don't know what this is though. Uh, a witch's humble shop. Oh, I kind of want to go in here. I'll go in here last, cross the street, and we'll look at the shops on the other side, and then we'll go in there. Um, furniture store, I think? I don't know. Um, oh, I think these are townhouses. Cute. Oh, imagine living on the street. That'd be so adorable. Just like parking. Nice, nice. Okay. Um, a toy shop? A toy nook. Oh, that's cute. Um, Hollow Brook ice cream and sweets. Really nice, really nice. And then we're back to the diner. Okay, well, not the diner, the cafe little area. I don't know exactly what it is. Okay, let's go to the magic shop. I'm really curious to what's in there. I don't know if anyone will be in there, but I'm really curious to what we'll find in there. I'm jaywalking. No one run me over, please. And thank you. Okay, let's see. Board? I don't, I don't mess with Ouija boards. Sorry, to break it to you. Cookies? Uh, psychic rooms? That's so cool. Oh, there must be a reading going on right now. That's why no one's in here. Oh, this place is so cool. I need to bring my friends here. They find it so freaking cool. There's so much. letter? I can't read it. I think it's in Latin. Looks like Latin. Oh, this is so cool. I have a feeling this town is going to hold a lot more secrets than we think it will. It's getting a little later in the day, so I feel like people will start coming out and the town will be, become more and more awake. Um, I think I'm going to go meet up with the with the crew. Um, I think they said that they were gonna wait around at the house. Which, by the way, I had no clue that Dean's house was, Dean's vacation house was gonna be so massive. Let's see, is there a way we can walk there? A lot of the town is under construction. It's apparently rumored that a lot of the old buildings got torn down because of unexplainable events. My, in my opinion, that means that they got torn down because they were super haunted. But just because you tear down the building doesn't mean how haunted it is gonna, is gonna just vanish. But a lot of buildings got torn down. And it makes me curious. A cow's in the middle of the road. I mean, we are kind of in the middle of nowhere, so it makes sense. It was about a I'd say two, three hour drive. I think like two and a half, three hours. King Valley. That's where the mansion is. It's apparently the most expensive neighborhood sub and subdivision to live in. It's apparently owned by this um, one family that like owns half the town. But for the first part of the neighborhood, all you can see is the Levi Manor. <laughs> I still can't believe that they own this monstrosity of a house. And they technically own all the land around it. The houses are so far apart, they own basically what would be 
seven houses worth of land. Okay, let's go back inside. I don't know where everyone is. I know a lot of people weren't awake yet. Oh, this house is so cool, though. Oh, oh, there's pizza from last night. We got him super late last night. We were able to get up and I kind of couldn't sleep because I was excited to explore the town. Um, the weather here is so nice. It's like perfect fall weather. I don't know what's in here. Oh, I think this is a guest room. Um, I know that Dean's room is downstairs and so is my room. There's a bathroom. Um, this room is so cool. I love this fireplace. <sighs> and then upstairs, I'm pretty it's just the sunroom, or as Dean calls it, the lookout room. He apparently used to come up here and pretend to be a spy when he was little. <laughs> He's so adorable. Uh, uh, anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> I wonder if Dean's awake. be naked. I mean, uh, not that I'm thinking about you naked or anything. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm coming in. Whoa. Oh, I did not know his room was this extravagant. <laughs> He's got a nice PC set up and a laptop. Shower? I didn't check the bathroom in here, so maybe a drum set, electric guitar. Apparently he works out. <laughs> I mean, he is kind of strong, but I just kind of assumed it was because he was just gaming all the time, you know, getting those getting those biceps from having to murder people virtually. I mean, I wouldn't be the best. Oh, this house is so Awesome. I'll wait for everyone to wake up. Apparently, we're having a huge Halloween party here tonight. <sighs> Kenny planned it. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> I guess I'll wait for everyone to get up. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and head back to the mansion. Um, it's getting kind of late, and I'm getting a little tired, not gonna lie. Okay, uh, see you later. We'll be at the cafe. Okay, you two have fun. <laughs> okay, uh, sounds good. <laughs> Let's see, okay, we're good. Going across here. Uh, okay, what's the noise? Uh... Are there people at the house? Uh, who invited over people? Hmm. Uh, are, did someone start a party? <laughs> uh, if the music's any consolation, I think someone. Someone's having a party. Uh. <laughs> Kenny? Uh. Kenny, hey. Hey, girl, hey! Uh. Who are all these people? Just some people I met. And some of your friends. Uh, 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 don't you think this is a little uh, extreme? Do you even know these people? Don't worry, I'll clean up tomorrow morning. It's morning. Just have fun. Woo! Okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's pizza. God, there's drinks everywhere. Um, at least I haven't seen any alcohol. Uh, I stand corrected. But they seem chill. But did people outside? Um. Oh 
where, uh, where's Dean? I wonder what he thinks about all this. Um, hey, hey Dean, can I, can I come in? Hey. I'm really not a fan of parties. I don't like how many people Kenny invited. I, I, I kind of assumed that would be the case. But hey, why don't get into our costumes and we join them. Have some fun and if you hate it, we can leave. Okay, Angel. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm gonna go get changed. See you in a little bit. Okay. This is Joy and I's room. Um, let's see. Um, where's my outfit? Okay. Halo headband? Check. My crop top? Check. White skirt? Check. Little slip ons? Check. I'm all ready. Hey, Dean. <laughs> We're ready? Of course. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> uh. What's wrong? I don't really dance. Just feel the rhythm. Forget anyone else is here. It's just you and me and the music. Okay? There you go. You're already getting the hang of it. Dude, you're drinking? Really? It's my life, Dean. But think about how mom and dad would feel. Who freaking cares? She's the words. Kenny, how much have you drank already? I don't know. Oh no. She ran off. Are, are you okay? He ran outside. I feel like I should go check up on him. There he is. Y you okay? I don't understand why she feels the need to do all this stupid stuff. I don't know. It's whatever. I just hate that when she gets in trouble, my parents somehow find a way for it to be my fault. Look, it's not your fault. Whatever your parents say is wrong. You... You did everything in your power to make this party not happen. You told her not to do it. Thanks. I'm just telling the truth. You're a good brother. Don't think you aren't. Even if she can't see that. You're a good person in general. Are, are you cold? Uh, a little, just a little chilly. I'm fine, though. Uh, wait a sec. Huh? Uh, and he's gone again. <sighs> I am a little cold, though. It's not horrible, but it is a little, like, ugh, it's a little... Sharp breeze. <laughs> huh? Here's my jacket. I thought you could use that. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, hey, Dean? Yeah? Do you? Uh, uh. <laughs> Why is your face so red? Are, are you okay? Is the hood making you too warm? I. Awkward with sparks in the air, he would stare at her and claps. Now, nobody can steal me away. Yeah, I am yours because I want you and I wanted you to know. I 
as he sang, she started to dance, grabbed his arm and took his hand. He held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing. Sorry. Sorry. Angel. Calling each other sweetheart. I promise nobody can get in their way or steal the show. Oh, they're in love now, and I wanted you to know. The sun's barely up. fall asleep last night. <laughs> Did Dean and I actually kiss? I kissed Dean. Holy sh oh my gosh. Oh, I can't I can't sleep. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get up. Sneak out of here, not wake up Joy. She passed out in her clothes. Apparently her and Charlie were out really late last night. Whatever that means. I bet Dean's still asleep. Let's see. The house is so nice and calm now. Kenny apparently felt really bad about what happened and was up really late cleaning up. weather here. It's so nice. <sighs> it's one of my favorite places to come now. It's just so calm. <laughs> Let's see if we can start the fireplace and chocolate. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. It's really thoughtful of you. About last night. Do you want to be my... <sighs> Cassidy! Uh, uh, morning! Morning. Uh, am I interrupting something? N no! Um, we're just talking. Uh, what's up? I had to sleep. Okay. They gave me this address. Oh, it's at the end of this neighborhood, they said. I have no clue why I'm here. They just told me to meet them at the house. Uh, oh God, what have I gotten myself into? <sighs> okay, um, okay, there is everyone. I, I don't know if I wanna do this. I don't know what their plan is, but I don't like whatever it is. Uh. Hey guys, this house is <laughs> big to say the least, and spooky, <sighs> yeah. This house gets explored all the time. It's just a known fact, it's completely abandoned. Uh, so we're just gonna go inside? It's rumored to have once belonged to a butcher who went insane, started feeling dull when killing animals, so he moved on to humans. That doesn't make me feel any better about the situation, Kenny. Uh, if anyone doesn't want to go in, you don't have to. Thanks, Dean. 
Sure, but you will be called a wuss. <laughs> anyway, let's head in. Oh god. Uh, uh ladies first. Uh, except Joy. <laughs> How gentlemanly of you. I'll go in first. It really doesn't seem like we're supposed to be going in here, but... Okay. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, there's probably spiders everywhere. Uh, -huh. uh guys? W what's wrong? Um wouldn't the animals be decaying by now? I see flies around them, but they don't seem that old. <laughs> oh. Guys? Uh, uh, can you guys hear me? Uh, uh, guys? I can't get out! Angel? Uh, Dean? We'll go get help. Wait, no, don't leave me alone in here! Hello? Is anyone still here? Dang it! I don't know about this. Okay, maybe if I stay outside, maybe I can walk around the house? Right now, this isn't funny. Hello? Anyone here? Maybe I can go upstairs and go out the other side. Funny. Ow, my ankle. Okay. Okay. Dean. Angel. Where is everyone? Running to get help. I felt bad leaving you alone. Thank you. I think my mind's playing tricks on me. I was really scared in there. Also, what were you trying to say this morning? Oh, uh, are, are you sure this is good timing? Better now than never. Right. Uh, Angel, do you want to be my girlfriend? Yes, finally, dork. Looking at me, making me feel like maybe you want this too. Give me your attention.
hang out here as long as you'd like. I called your mom and told her you're safely back in town and at our house. Thank you so much, Miss Soroki. Means a lot. No problem, sweetie. <laughs> so, you, you wanna head home or hang out? If you wanna hang out, you could watch a movie or something. Sure. Sounds like a lot of fun. Let's pick out a movie. I like how literally the only shows we watch right now are animes. Cause you're a weeb. No, you're a weeb. I know I'm right. And I know I'm right. Oh, shush, cutie. No, I'm right. It's you. No, you. No, you. Told you so. <laughs> that didn't prove your point. Whatever. <laughs> Best if I head home before I pass out, like last time. See you tomorrow, cutie. See you tomorrow. stays open. <sighs> it's really pretty outside today. It's chilly, but really pretty. I'd rather it be chilly walking home than incredibly humid. <laughs> I can't believe I'm dating Dean. I'm scared of what Axel might do when he finds out. He might already know. Let's not think about it. It's just... I'm home. Mom? Dad? They might already be asleep. Oh well. I'm just gonna take a nice hot shower. Maybe get some hot cocoa and get some sleep. Feels nice to be back in town. Uh, morning, Joy. Morning, neighbor. Ready for a new day? Of course I am. So how are you and Charlie? Good, good. How are you and Dean? Uh, <laughs> why, why would you assume me and Dean would be, like, paired together when asking that question? I, I just... I was teasing. Wait, are you dating? Shh, keep your voice down. We're not public yet. Kinda dating, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. Anyways, I need to go eat breakfast. Talk to you at school. See ya. Okay, sit down here. obvious that I'm lying.
Uh, hello? So, do you have something to tell us? No? Joy hinted at some things. So we just wanted to ask you. Joy... I, I don't know what she's talking about. I swear. You two are meant to be. Ugh, I'll never find someone. Hey, don't, don't say that. You're gonna find someone. Yeah, you're caring, funny, kind, and hella beautiful. Thanks, guys. Uh, we need to head to class. Also, by you two, I'm assuming you meant me and Dean, and I swear you're gonna die one day from those comments. <sighs> seismograms and seismographs are what scientists use to locate earthquakes, as we read in the last chapter. You'll want to remember the spelling for the online test next week. Remember to study and email me or text me if you need anything. Hey, can we talk in the spot in five minutes? Yeah, I'll meet you there. Why does she need to talk? Did something happen? Hmm. I hope she's okay. I'll just wait for her. What did you need to talk about? I... I like someone. That's awesome. Who is it? Me and the person are friends, so I... I don't know if I want to say. Okay. You don't have to say anything. Um... They're really pretty. And a little misunderstood. I didn't like them at first, cause I thought they'd hate me, but now... <sighs> I, I get that. <laughs> I don't know if she likes girls. I see. What would you do? What do you mean? If you were in my shoes. I get close to them because any relationship, platonic or not, is better than no relationship if you really care about them. And I just casually over time bring up the question of what their sexuality is. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. You mean a lot to me. I hope you know that. You mean a lot to me too. Anyways, we should get to class. Yeah. Let's talk after school, okay? I wonder who it is. Mr. Levi, can you stay after class? I need to talk to you. Good luck, man. Wish me luck. Already did. <laughs> Dork. It's Junior. Hey! <laughs> Angel, uh, go on, sit down. Are you taking notes or something? I'm actually drawing. I see. 
Yeah, I want to get good enough where I can animate shorts and put them online. I got a drawing tablet for my birthday two months ago, so I've been practicing a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. My friend Cassidy is actually really into art. Oh, cool. I'll have to meet her sometime. Yeah, I think you two would get along really well. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> well, anyways, I gotta head to class. You continue doing your art stuff. <laughs> See ya. so we don't have school today, which is nice, but <sighs> Dean hasn't been replying to any of my calls or text messages, and I'm worried I'm being paranoid or clingy, but I'm worried about him. I want to make sure he's okay. I'm scared that he's ignoring me. Get it. Joy? Hey. What are you doing here? It's crazy weather outside. I'm super bored and was wondering if you wanted to hang out. Sh sure, get, get inside. so our internet is kind of slow right now. But if you want, we could watch something on my phone on my LTE. Sure, sounds good. I... Uh, I'm gonna go check what that was. You can join me if you want, or you can stay and pet Kamaji and wish me luck. Uh, what happened? It sounded like it came from downstairs. Dad? I've been trying to close the garage without it slamming. The power keeps shutting off. Are you okay? Yeah, the loud noise was just me lifting the garage back up when it got stuck halfway. I see. <laughs> well, let me know if you need any help. I can't really reach the garage door to shut it manually, but apparently this little deal is broken. Um, if you need me to call someone, I can. Um, I'm gonna go check up on mom and make sure she's not worried about the loud noise. Oh, no. Lights went out. Oh, gosh. Guess we're powerless now. Let's go try and find some candles. This sounds good. Good idea. There might be some up in the attic.
Christine, what are you doing? What time is it? 9 a.m. Monty! <laughs> hey, little guy. <laughs> You're making a mess. I hope you realize that. <sighs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Dean and Joy just passed out here. The storm was so intense last night that we all just kind of decided as a collective that it'd be much better for us to just have a sleepover. Dean was forced to sleep on the couch, though. <laughs> What's this? I want to tell Dean and Joy's parents that Joy and Dean are at our house. Our phones still aren't. Our phones still don't work. We'll start making dinner when we get home. Happy Thanksgiving. Mom and Dad. <sighs> He's so cute when he's sleeping. I don't want to be weird though and like wake him up. <sighs> what if he like doesn't like being woken up? I'm gonna wake him up. Hey. Hey. Hey, Dean. Psst. Wake up. Wake up, Dean. Wake up. Good morning, sleepyhead. Good morning. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh. I'm gonna go ahead and make some eggs and toast. How do you like your eggs? Send me soda, please. I I'll help and make some bacon. Sounds good. Let's go make some breakfast. Joy's still asleep, but I'll probably wake her up after breakfast is ready because she's really not a morning person. It's kind of ugly, not gonna lie. She, she scares me sometimes. I'm being completely honest here. But you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna start getting the ingredients out. And there. Okay, I guess I should probably go ahead and wake up Joy now. Okay, good luck. <sighs> Joy! Wakey, wakey. Don't be angry. Maji, can you wake her up for me? I thought not. Joy, time to wake up. Uh, good morning. Uh, 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 breakfast is ready downstairs in a couple minutes. Uh, 
Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> She's awake. And look, the toast is ready. <laughs> I've never been so terrified. <sighs> Great Thanksgiving. Great. Something's tugging at my sleeve I do believe it's Christmas It's cold outside but I'm warm within Cause Christmas time is here A merry game they play Chasing each other to and fro Laughing all the way Oh, what a jolly time To have the whole family here For a few <laughs> I'll make some hot cocoa in a little bit too after when I'm decorating the tree, let's watch Christmas movies. <laughs> I'm so excited for Christmas. <gasps> we still have to do outside decorations. I will do the outside decorations. You guys continue having fun down here. Yes. Okay. Let's grab the outside decorations. Oh, so freaking. Right. Okay. Got a wreath. Got some lights. Um, that's Halloween stuff. Um, yes, okay. I am ready to decorate. <laughs> um, oh, do we have the step letter up here? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Go outside. I want to decorate the outside of the house. Okay, looks like people are starting to decorate their houses. Yes. Um, let's start with the sleigh can go like right here. Um, I think it should be on an angle actually. Like that. Yeah. Wreath can go right above the door. Right there. Um, I think what I want to do for the rest is I could put the bells above each of those windows and then do lights down here and I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. I might have to use the attic to get up there. Um, let's even check if I can get up there really quick. Um, let's see. I might be able to like jump down from there as long as it's not too high. Um, can I go down here? Gosh. Oh yeah, okay, I can light them up here string lights up here. Okay, let's go ahead downstairs and let's start with the easier ones. Um, we're gonna put the step ladder. Oh, uh, that's not where I need it. I need it on top of the deal actually. Actually, I can just go across here. We can put these here, and these here, and this here to here. Oh, yes, and then I'll put the others on top. Oh, it's gonna be so perfect. I'm trying to think of where I can put the rest of the lights though. Because I don't know where they can go as of right now. Not a good idea. 
Kamaji. This. Let me in. I don't think he's gonna let me in. Um. We can walk around here though. Um. Let's see. Why are these off? There we go. Um. Ooh, we can put some down here. As long as it's not hanging too low. I don't think that's too low. Um, it's good. I might replace two of the lights in my room with these, but I don't think so. I think it'd be a little too flashy. <laughs> when has anything been too flashy for me? Let's be honest here. Okay, got the basics done. Now I'm gonna start making hot cocoa. I'll get it. Oh, hey, Dean. Hey, so I wanted to ask you something. Uh, what's up? Would you like to join my family and I on our yearly trip to our cabin for Christmas? I mean, I'd have to ask my parents, but yeah, I'd be down. Awesome. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Same. <laughs> hey, are you gonna be online later? Uh, yeah, wanna play? Yeah, sounds good. See you then. See ya. <laughs> um, I hope it's okay with you. I just kind of agreed to go on a trip to the cabin with um Dean. Is that good? Is that I'm not hearing a no. Okay, cool, I'm gonna start packing. <laughs> This place is so pretty. Ugh, I'm so excited to stay here. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. It's so nice you could come to the cabin with Dean. It's great to finally meet you. It's really great to meet you too, Mr. Levi. I've heard only great things about you from my parents and from Dean. Oh, please call me Adam. Okay, Adam. <laughs> Go ahead and look around. Your room is the upstairs room off the library. We need to talk with Dean really quick. Uh, oh, okay, yes ma'am. He gives you a look, almost screaming, I'm scared of what they're gonna say. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> okay, where to start? This Christmas tree is so pretty. Okay, is this the kitchen? Oh, cool, <gasps> candy cringe. I want to go to the room. This is so pretty. The gingerbread house. Oh, we can make cookies and cupcakes and cake and pie and all the sweets. Let's see the view. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Ooh, that's one thing. I wanted to look at the view from the front. Oh, don't mind me. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so hilly. It's a lot of drops, which kind of scares me, but it's whatever. It's not like my, I could die or anything. It's fine. Only slightly scared of heights. Oh, this place is so pretty. There's some presents out. TV's playing some sort of Christmas thing. There's one fireplace. There are four stockings. Is one of them for me? Way. Uh, a little snow glow. So cute. Oh, this is such a pretty place. There's a llama? It's a llama! That's, that, that's actually kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, oh, here's a bedroom. Um, she said mine was upstairs off the library, I believe. I don't really know where that is, so we're just gonna have to look around. Uh, this place is so cool. This kind of looks like it's danger based on the posters. Huh. The music box. I wonder what song it plays. Anyway, 
guys. I guess it's time to check upstairs. That's this room. Another guest room. Pretty view. <gasps> it's snowing! I have to go look at the snow! <gasps> I love the snow so much! Sorry guys, I got out of the snow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, it's snowing! <gasps> I can catch up with the snowflakes. <laughs> oh, I love the snow so much. <laughs> okay, let's continue looking around the house. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love snow so much. I love winter. <sighs> sure, I like fall a lot. I love fall. Fall's probably my favorite. But there's just something so magical about winter and snow and... I love it. Okay, let's go on upstairs. Okay, looks like we got a little fireplace. Cute little windows. I guess this is the library? Yeah, this little desk set up. I'm assuming that's Adam's. That's, it feels weird calling him Adam. And so this would be my room. Nice! Nice little view. I guess I should go get my stuff from the car and unpack. <laughs> Tomorrow's Christmas. I'm so excited. Cutie. 